SGC here, and we are back for a movie review. Hey, lady! The card didn't work? Your father's frozen all of your assets. You thought more about my proposal? There is no way I'm gonna work for you in China. After one year, I give you your money back. Oh my God, this is not really happening. Go back to China. So this is a 2019 film written and directed by Emily Ting. It stars Anna Akana. Tina Akana, I'm so sorry but the YouTuber. This is a semi-autobiographical and is based on Emily Tang's life and her relationship with her father. It also stars Lin Chen, who uh, right now is better known for playing Vivian Shing in the film Saving Face. Uh, yeah, she's also a director, so that's pretty cool. And also, wow, this Wikipedia page sucks. One sec. And then also stars Richard Eng. So there's some Cantonese in here and also some Mandarin. So what's this movie about? Well, basically it's about a trust fund wannabe designer um, whose father pressures her to go back to Shenzhen to learn the family business. And then the whole thing about family happens and that's the entire film. So what did I think? Well, first off, Anna Kana, like I see, watch her YouTube stuff a lot. So it was weird to see her in a movie. So maybe it was just my bias that I couldn't really get away from the YouTube vibe. But granted, this is probably a lower budget movie anyway. So like sound and lighting and locations were much more lacking in a sense. But, you know, budget restraints, that's just real. I mean, seriously though, comparative to, you know, Crazy Rich Asians, which is a Hollywood blockbuster or whatever, lots of money, much more cinematic. This one less so, much more at Wong Fu, I would like sadly say, but much more real in terms of the narrative of the Asian American life of just much more expectations that are explained and you can really see the relationship between an Asian American versus an Asian from the mainland. I mean, Farewell did that better than Crazy Rich Asians as well. But here, it, it really, really can see the whole, the Asian American mindset. And it's of a sort of a coming of age movie in a sense too. But I don't know, Anna Kaz's this acting just felt very YouTube-esque. And that's just too bad. Richard Ng was great in terms of just juggling all these things that were happening. We got Lin Chen, who plays the half-sister, who sort of roped into this whole business as well, and the whole sacrifice bit. So there's a lot of narrative nuggets of just like, hey, you want to know what an Asian American has to deal with? There you go. Because, you know, the whole astronaut life um, happens, like where, you know, families immigrate, and then the dad goes back to where they came from to keep working, and then the mom and daughter lives abroad. And then there's that disconnect of family. And then, granted, this, this, this family has much more problems than simply being an astronaut. You know, Richard's character is sleeping around and having multiple wives and all, and multiple children and all. So, so yeah. So there's, there's that. Yeah, I just feel like Lin Chen feels much more of a grounded. And Anna just felt more like Anna from YouTube. So I think that's my biggest gripe with this film, which is, uh, I wish I didn't. Like if I didn't know Anna from her YouTube, I'm probably either like it more or like it less. Cause I know this is like a low budget film, but I do appreciate all the language. Like I swear, anytime there's an immigrant story, there has to be language beyond English. Like I don't care how fluent immigrant parents are that's why i don't recognize i don't even know kim's convenience like they never speak korean which always throws me off because it's just like no like when you speak to your spouse you're gonna speak in korean or some of your best buddies or your, your older people that's why even like fresh off the boat the grandmother speaks mandarin which is great and then going off to like ultra carbon or rami so much rami has like arabic english and french great stuff but anyways, going back to this movie, it's a typical narrative of of a coming of age. You know, we have 
Anna's character being Asian American, and then she learns about how hard is life, and she tries to be their, their savior, and then things go wrong, and then misunderstandings, and then hate you, hate you, and then get together, feel better type of film. So yeah, for a narrative, it, it's nothing new, but it's like the whole Asian American immigrant story that put onto this like coming of age story, and and but. I don't know, why am I always comparing films? Half of it did it much better, and it's less obvious of a you know in-your-face type of type of uh, vehicle technique. And and anyway, so going back to this, um, it was nice to see the coming of age, to see like the hardship. So I definitely feel like if people watched it in North America, they can actually see you know how hard it is. I think American Factory, the documentary, also really spoke to how bad things are. Like why people do immigrate here and take like really low-paying jobs because it's like it's so much more worse in terms of labor laws or work ethics or over there. And so much more like I see my kid once a year type of vibe. And it was kind of nice for 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 them to bring that sort of subplot in, as in like, hey, let's make it so that the workers can have a daycare in the factory, which is I don't think it's kind of realistic. But yeah, so there's that. Um, so so I think this uh, cinematography just wasn't very cinematic. If, yeah, I wouldn't say it even feels like a YouTube. It feels more like a TV, TVB. So the Hong Kong TVB fake sets vibe, but not that bad of a quality in terms of acting, narrative, or c- cinematography. But I do look forward to whatever's happening. Like Lin Chen herself is directing and writing stuff. Emily Ting is also doing that. Anna's doing that. So I definitely want to support these folks in terms of just whatever, you know, inspirational thing that they're coming up with. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Did I say anything useful? Usually don't. But go back to China. I feel like it, it's a nice, it, it's a 2019 film. But, you know, right now in Vancouver, we're having like 800% increase of race crime, which is totally, totally unacceptable, nor and ridiculous. Like, I don't understand. Like, 800% is like crazy. So anyways, that's it. I- I'm done talking here. So uh, keep liking, keep watching, and subscribe, and share. Because sharing is caring. And that's it for this movie review for Go Back to China. Stay safe and healthy. Out. Out.